Hello. Um, so this video is going to be about sex after surgery. Um, so if you don't feel like hearing about dicks and sucking and fucking and coming and all that fun stuff, then this is not the video for you. Um, <laughs> and I recommend that you exit now. <laughs> um, so there is some really good information out there for guys that are interested in metodioplasty about people's experiences with sex after surgery um, but I feel like there is always room for more information um, I know I was able to find some but it wasn't nearly all that I was looking for um, you know and a big part of why I got this surgery was related to sex I mean part of it was um, you know more re like aligning the way that I would like my body to be with um, the gender identity that I identify most with. Um, just kind of like that dysphoria and discomfort, but part of it obviously was also about how I function and can express myself in a sexual fashion. Um, so I wanted a lot of information about that. And yes, so hopefully I can be straightforward about some of those things um, and feel free to ask questions because I know I had about 20 million going into it um, <laughs> so I um, I don't know where to start blowjobs feel great um, <laughs> and they did before and they still do and um, you know I haven't lost that sensation although um, what feels good is a little bit different now. So previously, like, one side might have felt more sensitive than the other, and now it's the other side. Um, or, you know, motions are a little bit different, you know, um, like an, an up and down kind of motion always felt great, but it's a lot more easier for folks to do now, um, which is great. Um, in, the, in the last video I mentioned um, a little bit of like issues with scar tissue like especially with like more deep pressure and that being a little bit um, sensitive and part of that is you know if someone is giving me a BJ if you go all the way down like it kind of like the part of your chin and or lips um, is going to be hitting that area and so that can be a little bit uncomfortable sometimes um, and just kind of like the pulling on that you know on the top a little bit there's a little bit of tightness there um, which I, I don't think that's scar tissue I think it's more like the structure underneath um, but especially on the bottom like any sort of pulling there if I pulled back on my dick a little bit um, it's just so taut there that it can be um, kind of uncomfortable but again I'm hoping that that'll loosen up over time or maybe if I like massage it and no that's totally not an excuse and even if it was I don't care um <laughs> but hopefully it'll just kind of ease up a little bit um with time um so the sensation's still great even though it's a little bit different um you know being able to do the up and down motion with blowjob is more easily is really great too um I have the length that I am soft now is to my recollection about the length that I was when I was hard before surgery. Um, and so my hard length now is, it would be probably enough to penetrate someone um, vaginally or frontally, depending on your partner. Um, but I no longer have a partner with those parts currently. Um, so I have no experience with that. Personally, um, <laughs> I have a boyfriend who is not trans, and there really isn't enough, in my experience anyway, and I think that this is pretty universal for people with metas. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, but there isn't really enough hardness, or at least sustainable hardness, um, to do any sort of like anal penetration, because that really takes quite a bit of structure and hardness to do anal penetration um, and there just isn't really enough 
erectile tissue um, to do that. Um, so you can like rub up against someone, um, but actually like going inside I think is a little bit tricky. It's more just like a kind of, it will tickle you. Um, so probably feels a little bit like rimming only with a dick. Um, so that is not an option. Uh, I didn't get testicular implants because I do have frontal sex sometimes and um, I they they aren't incredibly important to me and I was worried that they might get in the way. Um, you know, in the future it might be an option. Um, but it just for me personally, like I would rather not have them than have them get in the way. Um, they just aren't super important to me when I weigh it out for myself. Um, then I was kind of worried about like extrusion and some of the complications that can sometimes arise with them. Um, although those tend not to be like major stuff to my understanding. Um, so frontal penetration at first was impacted. Um, you know, when I was first able to have, you know, penetrative sex after surgery, um, it was not extremely pleasant um, because I was super tight and sensitive and um, I mean it just was really difficult um, but then you know after a little while it was a lot easier um, of course I think I jumped the gun on that one so to say um, so uh, I think it was recommended that I waited, um, depending on healing time, about six weeks. Um, I think I might have had sex around five, maybe tried-ish around four, and then was like, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, so yeah, so over time that was fine, because I was really worried about that at first. Like, how long is this going to last? Oh my god. Um, so yeah, that was fine. No problems now. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, hasn't really been impacted in any way, because that's far enough away from any work that was done, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, all in all, sexually, um, I'm really happy that I have increased length and girth and, um, different, um, uh, kind of experience. I mean, I think part of it is, you know, psychologically it feels better because it's more aligned to what I, you know, would ideally like to have. Um, you know, and that's just incredibly hot and sexy to me, um, which really enhances the experience. And then some of the movements, you know, more closely replicate, you know, some of the things that I would like to be experiencing and feeling. Um, so I'm just, I'm really happy with it sexually. It's worked out, um, it's worked out really well for me. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, good times, no problems. <laughs> um, and again, feel free to ask any questions down below. Thanks.